Hey, what is up, guys? We'll go back to another video. As you can see in the title of the screen, already some shit is already going down. When it comes to movies or just shows just in general, I don't really have favorites on shows or on movies. I just fucking watch whatever the movie has a plot scene and it's really pretty good characterism. However, there is this one movie called Cuties. Uh, it is one of the weirdest and creepiest trailers ever because it just involves like f like little girls just dancing like in the weirdest possible way it's pretty much girls under the age of 10 already acting like mature women uh like basically dancing in a very fondly way and this movie doesn't take place in the u.s this movie actually comes out in the french country and his name is my moana decor and this is probably like the weirdest initial releases of any trailer I've ever fucking seen besides Cats and Sausage Party. That's, those were just fucking terrible movies. But this involves little girls under the age of 10, which makes me very uncomfortable since I already turned 18. And me just watching the trailer, I just had to like take it off halfway through because it was so fucking weird. And it is, it's like eating Brussels sprouts at an age at five and I can't eat it because I don't fucking like it. The same shit with this fucking movie. It is probably the weirdest things I've ever fucking seen. I will just play the small bit of the trailer, this fucking badass fucking trailer. I'm pretty sure like everyone is going to like it. I'm pretty sure. Like I'm already seeing Ron Tomatoes. Like they fuck, they're fucking killing it, man. It's shit. It probably is at a hundred percent. I really want to fucking die. Like I me mean, just watching that clip already makes me so fucking uncomfortable. I'm just seeing like a little girl dance while I'm seeing something that I don't want to fucking see at all. I'm pretty sure the pedophile community are like fucking jumping at one fucking toe right now because they're so fucking happy right now. Initially for the pedophile community, this is pretty much a fucking new Call of Duty game for them. Uh, they just have to fucking wait for September the 9th for the initial release. They'll be fucking jumping at one fucking toe like I'm fucking saying dude they'll be fucking so happy man i already don't want to lay my eyes upon this fucking trailer me watching this trailer i find it more entertaining by like fucking me stapling my eyes into a fucking wall i think it's more entertaining than that yeah, i'm not the only one that's just saying the exact same words as i am because i could literally just go to the comment section for this fucking shit and it's really fucking gruesome this fucking gladiator fucking named Jay Louis made a whole fucking Bible lesson in the comment section of this shit. Basically, in summarization, there's actually like 30 more paragraphs in the bottom of this shit. He was basically ranting why isn't this like in the part of the section of Netflix kids because Netflix has no right to put this on the actual Netflix in itself because... You know, there's more people uh, on this country that are very sexual in some parts of ways because if you put this type of shit in front of the Netflix like forum, just in itself, I'm pretty sure a lot of people above the age of 17 or 18, whatever state you are there to be, I'm pretty sure this is like a mini porn section, but uh, a little bit more smaller so people could just fucking jerky jerk in the back of the fucking couch while no one's seeing them and the FBI doesn't bust down their fucking door. In all seriousness, what do I think about this? I think it's very inappropriate. Just in itself, I don't want anyone to get hurt, especially when little girls are being put on, not even in a Netflix kids show. Well, Netflix on Twitter put out this statement, this fucking Rick and Morty outer galactical claim. And then we're basically like, oh, we're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we use for the Mignosis cuties. It was not okay, nor what is it representative of this French film, which won an award as Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and description. Well, I don't want to be like a dickhead or anything or like some type of racist shit, but like, I'm sorry. If you guys don't know what is Sundance, it's pretty much like a fucking French cable TV network. And I'm sorry, it didn't fucking win. It didn't win in the fucking U.S. Nope, it did. It fucking didn't. I'm fucking sorry. But this is not like this is basically not assimilative. You know, it's not. It's not what it's supposed to fucking be in the U.S. You have to fucking follow the fucking laws here. I'm sorry. All in all, just in a summarization, the one of the worst fucking apologies and one of the worst excuses made by Netflix. And this is a huge company that makes movies and. Every Everyone is blasting fucking Netflix for this shit because 
Netflix actually knows about this little scenario that they're getting a lot of backlash from this, but they're still going to fucking put it. They still have the initial date release and they're not taking it off sooner or later. They're going to keep this shit to make more revenue and money. That's how fucking Netflix is that fucking greedy to make money out of exploitation out of children, which makes me just fucking grossed out a little bit. And if you are in support of keeping this stupid fucking trash movie and, and you really think that this movie is going to make money, I don't think it's going to make money. But you can make an excuse or you can make an argument like, oh, what's the point of putting on this movie if they're not even going to make money? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't want to see little children fucking dancing when anybody above the age of whatever state that your fucking age of consent has said or says. Bro, I really don't want to see that shit. That shit is so fucking weird, and it, it is really fucking gross. I don't know how people can just watch, like, ten little girls just fucking dance in front of a fucking camera while people in the back of the fucking goddamn camera are not embarrassed of just seeing this shit. All in all, my opinion on all of this shit, like, in summarization, do I think it's fucking weird? Yes, it's fucking weird. And the only thing I'm gonna say about this whole shit is don't fucking watch that movie. Please don't fucking watch it. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna be asking for is to like and subscribe, and I love you guys so much. Peace out. You were kind of your